Let's run through our official picks for the NFL Week 8. Uh, well, in the NFL, yeah, Week 8 of the NFL season, whatever it is. I, I don't even know how to talk anymore. We've been going so long, I'm just, whatever. Um, let's let's go ahead and uh, and I'll give out my first one here. And then we'll we'll go, not snake style, what is it, like back and forth, catty corner, sure. what do you call it? Uh, I'll go first. Titans at the Bengals. I'm we'll taking take, the Bengals. We'll, we'll take turns. Gary. Take turns. That's it. Son of a. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't turns. can't even think straight today. Titans at the Bengals. I'm taking Joey Burrow plus six. Joey is a covering machine. I think the Titans have been through a uh, just a ridiculous slate of games here recently. They will probably get the win, but they also tend to play teams like this fairly close. They play down to the level of competition. They came off a massive game against the Steelers, took their first loss. I don't look for them to to bounce back and say, oh, we got beat. We got to go take it out on somebody. That's that's not what they do in the NFL. This is a, okay, we just got to get through this week one way or another. I think the Bengals can keep this relatively close and, uh, and keep it within that six. So give me the Bengals. Love the Bengals. Joey covers. Is gonna go seven and zero um, when this thing is all said and done. I guess eight and zero, right? He's seven and zero now. Yeah. Um, I like the over in this game because I don't think the Bengals will stop them one time. Talking about a team that's not punting, Titans ain't punting this uh, week. Yeah, you're okay. Right. You might the Bengals right. defense is completely putrid. They're garbage. Uh, uh, I would love, love, love to have AJ Brown and Derrick Henry on a fantasy league this week. Um, I would go all in on those guys. Uh, and then also I think this Titans defense is pretty, pretty bad They're They haven't really impressed anybody. And, uh, and I think Joey covers Joey big balls. is going to make some plays and I uh, don't know that they can win the game, but, uh, but I definitely think this is going to be a field goal game. All right. So you, uh, so is that two official plays or just one? No, just one. I don't, I don't, I don't play any over under. So I just do the. Okay. Did I, I, I'm with you on the over, by the way. Uh, the lowest you can find right now is 53 and a half. Uh, it's come down from 55. I was about to say it opened at 55. Yeah. So it went down. Went down. And I liked it over 55. Yeah. I, I think me too. I think this uh, this looks like two teams that might be in the 30s. So uh, game number two for me, Vikings at the Packers. I'm taking the Packers minus six and a half. Uh, already played it. Already, I already played all these, but... Uh, yeah, I, I don't see any way that the Vikings stop the Packers. I think the Packers look at this as a as a get-right game, get everything rolling again. Adams is back in the fold, and he looked fantastic last week. Uh, I think they are going to murder the Vikings. We should have talked before the show. We had the same um, picks. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm, taking, I'm taking the Packers as well. I, I, I don't think there's any world on earth where I'm going to put one more nickel on Kirk Cousins. I can understand that. Here, I, how about this? You go ahead and take game number three, and we'll see if we got. All right, we got. Same Give one. me ten and two gloves against the team that is changing math in the NFL, the Falcons. They can't beat anybody at all. And uh, this Panthers team, we're rolling along, looking pretty good. Fell off the cliff just a little bit. Played the Saints, fought them hard. Played good, got the cover, and uh, and yeah, I like them to get back on the winning train this week. Lay the two and a half. I can understand it. I can understand it. And that is one that I do not have. All right. All right. There I we do go. Not That's have. all we need. It. Patriots at the Bills. I'm taking Josh Allen. I'm rolling with it. I know it stinks. The whole thing smells, but I'm going to hold my nose, and I'm going to take the Bills minus three and a half. I think that they have geared up for this game. They've been waiting for Tom Brady to leave New England. I think Sean McDermott has got this team. Uh, he will have them headed in the right direction this week. I think that Jets game might have been a little bit to do with the fact that they've got the Patriots coming up. They knew that they could roll over and beat the Jets. They didn't even have to score a touchdown, and they beat them by more than a touchdown. So I think in this spot, they come out, and they understand that the Patriots are looking pretty bad right now, and I think that they look to continue to make them look bad. I will take the Bills minus three and a half here. All right, give me the Ravens. I can't shit on the Steelers all year and then not not bet against them when they finally play a good team. There is a definitive answer. The Ravens are a good team. They're a very, very good team. All these people talking all this trash about Lamar being overrated, complete bullshit. Lamar is one of the best quarterbacks in the game, and he's going to show it. And when Big Ben turns the ball over, they will score on every one of those extra possessions that uh, the Steelers give them. Uh, you're taking three and a half? Yep. Got it. Got it. All right. Game five, 
no, sorry, game four for me, Rams at the Dolphins. Short week for the Rams. The Rams looked fantastic against the Bears, and I'm with you. This line doesn't make any sense. The Rams should be favored by way more. All that good stuff. It's Tua's first game, et cetera, et cetera. I got you. I think this team fights a whole lot for Brian Flores. I think they love their coach. I think they love their teammates. I think they will play for Tua the same way that they played for Fitzpatrick. I think they've got some pretty good weapons that we maybe didn't think were pretty good weapons. Um, the offensive line scares me just a touch, but I think short week, you know, played on Monday Night Football, and now they got to go play a, uh, a 1 p.m. Eastern time game on the East Coast uh, in, in Miami. I think that that is a scheduling mishap, and I think that the Dolphins will take advantage of it. Give me the Dolphins plus four here. My last pick, I'm going with the golden boy. Tom Brady going up to New York. He's finally going to get one over the Giants, and he's going to take it out of them pretty good. What uh, what line you got, 10 and a half? 10 and a half. 10 and a half. All right. Bucks minus 10 and a half at the Giants. All right, last one for me. Game that we have not talked about yet. The Los Angeles Chargers got a massive, massive win last week. Their first win for Justin Herbert. He finally got to sweet, uh, got to smell and taste the the sweet taste of victory. And this week, I think he loses. I think he goes to Denver, and Denver finds a way to get a win. They have had a lot of success over the Chargers here recently. I think Drew Locke and that bunch get all of the things rolling together this week, and they get that Chiefs taste out of their mouth. And they get a good win over a blah pack. I mean, a blah Chargers team, whatever. But uh, but I like the Broncos in this spot. Uh, I think people are writing them off a little bit too soon. Give me Denver uh, plus three and a half. And I, I think I can actually find them. Nah, three and a half is the best number I'll I'll be able to get. So I can get that over at Heritage and a couple of the spots. So uh, so yeah, I'm taking the uh, I'm taking the Broncos here. I like uh, I like Vic Fangio. So all right. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up. Is there anything else that we need to hit today? No, man, that's it. All right, you guys know what to do. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you are subscribed everywhere that you need to be subscribed. We will have a podcast out tomorrow at some point uh, with our college football guide for the weekend, podcast exclusive. So make sure that you are subscribed to the podcast. It will not be on YouTube. It will not be on Facebook, et cetera. So make sure you're subscribed and that you have left a nice five-star written review over there. We would certainly appreciate it. Highest podcast downloads we have ever had this month. So we appreciate that. You guys are incredible. The support is overwhelming, and we just want you to know that we thank you for it. So uh, with that said, go over to uh, sportsbookreview.com and go over to the SBR Picks YouTube page. We'll be live on Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern time for our closing line show. We also have our Tuesday night uh, uh, pick show slash flagship show where we break down the biggest games of the weekend, and we do our Monday opening line show over there. So go and subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube page and check out sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. With nothing else being on the docket, we are going to get out of your hair. We appreciate everybody that stuck around for the entire show. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for everything that you do for us. We, uh, we wouldn't be what we're doing without you. Full show. So with that said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. and We'll see you again on Friday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.